Hey everybody, Anthony here and back down to the fourth iron campsite and um, I had scheduled a overnight backpacking trip for some people. Uh, it's uh, now, it's today is October 19th. Um, the trip is November 3rd and a couple of people have reached out to me confused on what they need from gear. So I figured I would do this video and upload it to YouTube for anybody that wants to watch it, I guess, or cares to know what I use anyways, because I'm not saying this is a recommended, uh, this is gear that would work for everybody, but this is the bare necessities, um, gear that I carry when I backpack and, uh, I've been backpacking with this gear set up for about a year. Um, other than the pack, the pack's new. Um, I went to the Os, excuse me, I went from the Osprey, um, Exos 48 to the, um, Gregory Optics, it's a 48 also, but because it's a large, it's really 51, and Gregory does the pack, um, the, the leaders of the pack for the um, actual main compartment. So I have a lot more room. Um, during the summer, I can get away with a smaller pack, but during this time of the year, fall, um, you know, with 20 degree quilts, I, have a, I, I was having an issue getting things in, and definitely in the winter when I put my, my zero, all my winter gear in here, I was having some issues with the Osprey 48. Um, and I had bought another Osprey, but it was like five pounds and it was just killing me. So this pack is under three pounds. So this is working out awesome. I love this pack. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link on the bottom for everybody to, to look at it. Um, this is the large 48, which is actually 51. If you get the medium, I think it's really 48. And if you get the small, it's probably under 48, but it's still the main compartment. So anyways, we'll start at the back, the kangaroo pocket here. So in this pocket, I'm a hammock camper, as most people probably watching this know. Um, I keep my gravity filtration system. I did a video on this last last week, how it works. Pretty basic. Weighs um, the, the ounces is in the in the video, and I'm going to post a link to all the my pack oh weight and stuff and all the stuff in it when I'm done. Um, so, anyways, I keep my Cuban fiber tarp. Weighs about 10 ounces. I keep that in there. Um, and it, what just fell this is if I was going on more than one trip I use an alcohol stove this is four ounces of alcohol I'd get I could boil four two cups of water four times with this plus I keep an ounce in the cook pot so um, that also I keep in the back pocket just in case it leaked and that is all I keep in there um, I usually keep my water filter in there but this time of the year I move it to the main pack um, cl as close to my back as possible keep it warm uh, and then in another probably two, you know, when it gets freezing overnight, I will switch to a Sawyer, well, I say that, um, when we get snow, I should say, I'll switch to a Sawyer Mini, and I'll carry the Mini. Um, I didn't bring my ribs pack down, but I wear a ribs pack, and I take it to bed with me at night, and I put my toothpaste in it, my um, alcohol, because alcohol can't be below freezing to, to work, um, and my filter in there so it doesn't freeze. Um, so anyways, so it clear here as far as snow, but on the summits I've been hitting snow. So micro spikes, hill sounds, um, these I find are the best. I've gone through so many katulas. Um, these ones would work really well. They're pretty rugged. They strap over your foot so they don't fall off. And I'll cram um, water bottle in that pocket I can fit it in there it stretches enough and water in the side pockets because I don't do a bladder this time of the year because it uh, will freeze and I don't really do a bladder that much in the summer either so um, okay so off to the top front let's do the front so again water was freezing up on me yesterday hiking so switch to the insulated with the Nalgene and uh, it's not as light but it's just one of the necessities when you're hiking when it's sub-zero cloth use it for everything from below my nose to washing up um, I always go with a personal beacon um, I in reach um, in reach mini I just lost yeah Garmin in reach mini there we go um, so I, I take that can send out tons of message I did a review for it but I never posted it I'll try to get it up li online too side pockets are better on this pack than most but still not great keep a little thing a glide um, I've got some, usually some Blistex in there or um, sunscreen in the summer. Other pocket is, I will be testing tonight. Oh, there's my Blistex. It's in the wrong pocket. Um, just picked this up, Black Diamond 
um, headlamp. This one locks so it doesn't turn on. I got sick of changing out batteries in my other one because um, it was always turning on my pocket. People go, hey, your headlamp's on. Does the red strobe, hot, bright. Uh, I'm, the, the reviews were awesome on this. I think it was like 40 bucks. I'll put a link for this too. Um, and I'll let you know how I like it. I don't, I'm not gonna preach about it yet because I'm excited that it locks. That's what I'm excited about. Small minds, small things from you, small minds, I guess. So, and we have the brain, which in this pack is lacking a little bit in space. So um, tonight wanted a fire, so I brought a saw. Um, I'll probably bring that. I keep my little be uh, buff wool hat in there. <laughs> That's about all I got in there right now. I'll put like maybe some gloves, snack that I want to get to. Anything I want to get to um, quickly without opening my pack up. I use, During the summer, I'll keep my batteries and backup SIM card and stuff like that in there. But this time of the year, the batteries will start to freeze up. So again, I keep them buried in the pack. And then when it gets really cold, I've got a uh, the thing I, I, I make this stuff out of. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, people call it like thermal. I, I don't even know that little bubble wrap, reflective bubble wrap, reflectronics or something. Um, I'll make one of those for, they'll switch this bottle over to a big Nalgene and put that in there in, in one of those um, and also I have an envelope that I'll put hand warmers in and stick my batteries in for my camera gear because it will start to fail below zero. Um, Sony does pretty good and then in this pack oh there's my missing tripod um, don't usually keep that in there but <clears throat> this is a great tripod too for the GoPro I don't think it would support my big camera. Um, this comes with the Gregory's this optics comes with a uh, pack cover. I've used it once. It was my first time really using a pack cover. It was cool. Kept all the you know pack pretty dry, and it's, I, li I like it because it when I'm camping, um, a lot of times I'll throw my pack on the ground, which I don't like to do when it's raining. And if I hang it in a tree and put this pack cover over, it keeps it dry. Map still sporting the main map from yesterday. Um, Got to switch it over to the White Mountains map because we're doing um, Wildcats tomorrow. So off to the main pocket. Food bag, Z-Packs. I'll put a link for this, this is awesome. Comes with the line, the carabiner and everything. You, if you're gonna backpack, you need a food bag you can hang. Sitting pad, which I never could fit in my other pad, um, other pack, who's, um, I got, like, I, like I said, I got plenty of room in here. I mean, look at the room I've got. Um, this, I tried the lighter weight sitting pads and actually I'm gonna put this under my butt now that I showed it to you. Oops. So, um, I've tried, as I was saying, I tried, tried the lighter weight ones. Just don't seem to work. My butt still hurts. It was, wasn't even worth bringing. So, I, that's a uh, Thermarest sitting pad. I'll put a link. All the links I'll put the bottom for all this stuff. So, here's what my ditty bag that's gotten gets bigger in the winter time. Here's my filter. And I, oh, and these I carry for my fixed micro spikes. They're supposed to be in my emergency kit for some reason they're not. Um, so with my filter, I keep in this bag so I don't lose anything. I'm always scared of losing a filter. And um, like I said, this will go to a mini when I start melting snow. Cup, very important, just the bottom of a thing. It doesn't matter if it's nasty. You just scoop in dirty water, or some people call it raw water into your bag. You don't always have a waterfall. Um, so I'll scoop it into there, fill it up. Sawyer squeeze. Thing has never let me down. Um, and then that's something I rigged up for a gravity feed to go along with my gravity feed. And watch my video, like I said, my video, I think I, I think the name of it's gonna be a $1.50 gravity feed system because that's about what it cost me to make. They're about 50 bucks at REI. And here's my insurance policy. This is my fire extinguisher, whatever you want to call it, of the woods. Um, it's a, a puffy jacket. It's synthetic. Works awesome. Um, if you see me on a mountain with this on, it's cold out. Because <laughs> but, um, and I'll wear it around camp when I get to camp to keep me uh, dry. And dry, excuse me, warm. I just heard a phone go off, and I don't even know where my phone is. Um, and... This is another thing I've switched over to. I usually use a frog's tog during the winter. Um, then during the, I've 
let me re back up and rewind. During the summer and spring and late spring, early, you know, early fall, I use a frog's tog, but when I'm, I know I need something that's gonna last, I pack a hard shell. Um, most times you'll see me hiking, I will be in a soft shell. Problem with my soft shell is it gets wet or sweat, when I sweat, it, it does uh, wick away somewhat, um, but definitely goes to the outside and then overnight it freezes. And then I have, to, I have to warm it back up to get it thawed out enough to put it back on. And I haven't figured out a solution for that yet. And when, when I do, or if you know one, let me know, because I love hiking with a soft shell on. It keeps me dry from the snow. And, it, and it, even if it basic rain, as long as it's not downpouring, it'll keep me dry, but it just gets damp from sweat and then freezes solid. Gloves, these will, uh, these are just, uh, I mean, I say cheap, but they're um, not my warm ones. Uh, during the winter, I only wear the Meteor gloves. Uh, I think their outdoor research makes those ones. Those are just uh, for this time of the year. They'll probably be swapped out in about a month or so. Here's something that is very important that I see people without it all the time. Of course, I got a lot of toilet paper in here because I forget to put it in, so I just suck it up. Um, so I got my toilet paper, some wet wipes, clean up after, shower, whatever you want. My goose of spades to dig the hole. My toilet paper incinerating device. Um, you should be packing your toilet paper out, but I'm not going to preach to you about that because I'm the biggest offender of that. I burn it. I, I dig a cat hole six to eight inches deep, you know, wide as I need it, poop in it, wipe, put my, not the wet wipes in the hole. I pack the wet wipes out, but I put my toilet paper in the hole and then I burn it, make sure that, you know, there's no leaves that catch on fire or anything like that. And then once it's, uh, it's gone and out, I bury that hole and I pack it down nice. Um, hand sanitizer. Does it work? Doesn't, this, I'm not debating that. Does it make me feel better after I poop and use hand sanitizer? Absolutely. So I use hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Um, carry it if you want, don't if you don't. I'm not gonna judge. So, on to some clothes. And this might be a little lacking right now because <laughs> I've got some on the picnic table over there, but um, my Polar Buff. This is the best thing I ever bought. Uh, as you, you see my videos, I wear buffs all the time during the summer. This has got the best of both worlds. You can use this for a million things. I, I've only known the beanie and the, the net warmer and stuff. Love this thing. Um, it, it's amazing how much a regular buff, this is basically a regular buff, how much a regular buff will keep your face warm, especially if you double it up. I wore my regular head buff yesterday as a face mask. And it was sub-zero weather and I was fine. My handy dandy blue fleece that is getting so old. Um, I noticed it has a ton of um, holes in it from the fire. <laughs> it's gonna be time to retire it. And then I won't be the same color as my son. It's coming, the day is coming and I'm gonna cry when it happens. Extra socks, sleeping foot gets wet um, during the winter I'll actually carry uh, bread bags two bread bags in my survival kit or first aid kit so if I ever got my foot soaked I could take those wet socks off put these dry socks on put the bag over my sock put my sock back in my boot and the insulation on the sock theoretically will keep my foot somewhat warm at least get me out of the woods I wouldn't keep going another day or so but I would get you get you a safe place um, lightweight base layers so all I ever carry is lightweight, um, or I should say I wear, um, during the winter I wear lightweight and I do carry some mediums in here just in case. And if I put, I've only had to put them on once and it was, it was dire need. I, it was, I was sweaty from breaking trail and freezing and they probably didn't save my life. I wouldn't have died, but it definitely made the hike out a lot more, um, a lot more enjoyable. Um, I have a shirt too, which is obviously over on the picnic table. Um, so during this, during this time of the year, October, probably till into November, maybe up to December, I'll carry my lightweights in my pack and put them on only if it's really cold. Um, and I have my first aid kit and this varies depending on if I'm day hiking. I've got the old, uh, emergency blanket for day hikes. Um, a wallet with some money, checks, 
um, expired license in it. So if I need to be identified or I need to stay at a campsite, I have money, need to buy something in one of the huts I come across, compass. Um, basically, the only thing I have in there for first aid stuff is stuff that I know how to use. No need in carrying stuff you have no idea how to use. Um, if you're a medical profession, professional, have a first aid kit the size of your backpack and save everybody. I don't know how, I know how to use band-aids, burn creams, basic, basic first aid stuff. Um, you know, a tourniquet, I don't have in here, but I do know how to use one. Um, probably, I don't know what you would need a tourniquet for in the woods. Um, but I know people carry them. I guess if you fell and, you know, hiking pole, maybe. I almost done that, I guess. Maybe I should get a tourniquet. So, but anyways, first aid kit. Um, and then in here, hand warmers. Always good to have a package of those. Headphones if you're camping out, especially if you're going to be around through hikers. You want, there's, or me, because I snore. Um... My hammock in the winter I carry I will switch to add a winter sock to this but this is just Dutch's uh, net netless uh, non chameleon we'll call it because I use a chameleon for a bug net but I think I'm gonna actually get a type of net sock for this one for bug net sock. I don't know what they call it because I really like this hammock I sleep better in this hammock than I do my chameleon for some reason I don't know why so, um, but I have a winter sock for this, so I'll slide it over. Um, got my stakes in here. Um, my hardware is right here in this ditty bag. And then in there is where I actually keep my rock sack and my line and carabiner from my bear bag. So I, because I always use my bear bag when I'm hiking, day hiking for food, but I only need this when I'm, you know, camping out. So I put it in with my hammock stuff so I always have I only have to carry that weight when I'm um, backpacking and then my quilts in my hammock gear wrong bag but it works um, I have a stuff sack that I usually use so I can you know get it down but I'm carrying my these are my 20 degrees I got my under quilt and my um, regular quilt in here and that is it, other than my camera gear. Um, oh, food bag, food bag. So in my food bag, there's some food. Oh, very important. Oops. Toothbrush, I've got this at REI. It's a little lightweight one. Um, I've tried different lightweight things and I like to be able to close it up so it's not getting all over everything. Toothpaste, a couple of little flossers I grab. Um, keep that in your food bag because you want to hang your toothpaste in the, when the bears are out because they will go after toothpaste. Um, this time of the year, I bring some teas, propel for hiking. All my food's on the, over there by the, in the site. I'll carry, you know, I think I got mashed potatoes and ramen. Not healthy, but very good. Um, grab little packets of honey from Cumberland Farm so I can have honey with my tea at night when it's cold. Um, I bring instant coffee as an emergency. And I'll tell you why in just one second. Um, so my cook pot, my first item is a coffee filter. Put regular coffee in there, dump it in. I have this weighed and I don't recall what it was. I thought I wrote it on it. Um, this makes the best coffee, but you need regular coffee. So I, I would, you know, bring, I don't know, whatever it is per day yes it's a little extra weight this is my luxury item um, so I bring the Starbucks coffee as an emergency because I forget to cut pack this coffee for this all the time like today so I won't have I'll be drinking Starbucks coffee tomorrow and crying like a baby because instant is not as good as regular so that's my luxury item right there so inside well, I guess I, it's a two-part luxury item I guess I got two my coffee cup. This is a 450 milliliter Tokes. Like I said, I'll put a link down there. Um, I have every Tokes pot I size known to man. Um, this is a 750 light. Um, I would recommend anytime you can find any of their sizes in the light, it's well worth it. They they seem flimsy, but they hold up unless you're gonna sit on it or something. This is a lot you know sturdier. 
but it, this probably weighs more than this. And this is 450 and this is 750. So um, definitely get the light. I bought this actually by mistake, didn't even know it existed until I got it. Um, so the coffee, you, know, you put your coffee in there and you stick it in here like that and you just, I boil the hot water in this and I dump it in like that. Best coffee maker in the back country right there. As long as you got good coffee, I guess. So this is my cook pot slash um, bowl. I eat out of this, I use it for everything. I wipe it out, can't clean it. Um, and then inside, I've got a knife because I found out the hard way I need a knife to open up my, because I dehydrate my own meals, which I didn't bring any this time. Um, so I need this to open the meals. And then this, I start my my fire, my fire alcohol stove with, it's a fancy feast. I will try to find the link for this because I actually want to buy a backup one. So I need to find it for myself. Um, the guy sells these, I think, for like 15 bucks and ships them. And I think he's in Maine or somewhere around here. Whoops. Throwing it. Um, weighs next to nothing. It's Fancy Feast cat food can. And then this is, a, um, I think, a pasta can. And then he puts the wick in there. And when I looked into making it myself, the wick itself, the order of the wick was going to cost me more than the buying the stove itself. And it's already done. And it looked brand new when I got it. I use this all the time. And then I keep the ounce of alcohol in there. And then this is um, this, the windscreen. I dump the alcohol in there. And then I just use this like that. And it's, it starts it. No primer, priming it. You just stick it on there and go. So works out really well. And um, other than my camp soap, which... I'm not sure. That's the one problem. I keep forgetting it often because it doesn't fit in with this. Like if I don't carry the coffee pot at all, everything fits in there. So I'll carry a little dropper of uh, camp soap. Um, it is Dr. Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. You can brush your teeth with it. I don't. I bring toothpaste. You brush your teeth with it. I use it to wash my cook pots. I use it to wash my body. Um, I use it to wash my clothes. I usually pack in a large bag like this if I'm gonna do multi-days, um, like a, a, probably a gallon, and I put a couple drops in there, put my hiking clothes in there, and squeeze it around, rinse it, and then um, hang it up to dry. Works awesome. So that is basic fall camping gear right there. Not a lot. Do you wanna bring more? Are you a cold sleeper, pillow? Um, I don't know anything about tenting. People ask me all the time, well, what do I need for tenting? I don't know. I've tented probably three times and never backpacked with a tent. Um, I did a trip with Emily, my kid's uh, sister, and she had a tent. So I thought I was going to get to see the setup. And then she, uh, she's from out west, found out you could sleep in, we have shelters here, and she slept in the shelter on her sleep pad, so she didn't even set up a tent. So I didn't even get to see that in action. But that is basically it. Um, so anyways, I hope this helped a little bit. And like I said, this isn't, this isn't, don't think that this, what you have, you're gonna go out and be comfortable. I'm a very minimal, minimalistic person. Um, I, like, I like to do high miles, so I like to keep the weight off my back, and I do without a lot of stuff because of it, um, you know. Um, when, when a coffee maker and, and uh, a sit pad is basically a luxury item, you know, it is what it is. Um, um, you know, I can't think of anything else to bring. Camp shoes. There we go. I don't do camp shoes. Um, I try gone back and forth and I tried it. I kind of liked them and then I weighed them and I didn't think they weighed much until because my kid's dog ate the scale and I hadn't weighed them until after I backpacked the Pemmy Loop with them. And then when I bought a new scale and weighed them, they were like nine ounces. And I'm like, nope, nine ounces. I know that doesn't sound like a lot to some people, but that is way too heavy for me. So um, I usually, during the summer, I hike in trail runners. These are my old ones. I do only uh, ultras now. Um, and in the winter, I do wear boots. And when you go to sleep at night with boots in the winter below freezing, unlace them and loosen them up found that one out the hard way i won't tell you what i was trying to do when i was trying to put my boots on i almost went ran into the woods in my bare feet to go to the bathroom let's just put it that way so anyways i'm going to wrap this up and i'm going to go and make some din din and get some camping out of the way and hike in the morning see y'all on the trail